What's up, nerdlings? What up, nerdlings? So, who's your boy? Floyd's my boy. What does that mean? It's a new month! Do you nerd for video games monthly? Hey, nerdlings. Cam Nelder here, and you're watching everybody's favorite couple on YouTube, Do You Nerd? In this bag is a box, and in that box are video games that we get monthly. And these games come from VGM, Video Games Monthly, with your boy Floyd. Now just in case you don't know how this works, you go to their website, you sign up, you pick out some consoles, they've got a wide variety of retro consoles and handhelds to choose from, then you fill in a list, tell them what games you already have, They'll do their best not to send you any duplicates, and each month you get a box full of games based on various tiers, all the way up to a power pack if you just want a whole bunch of games all at once. Get the power! Do you send them back? No. You get to keep them. <laughs> oh, that's a bit bulgy. Hey, uh, everybody... you've got a pretty bulgy package there. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> Although everybody in the VGM community does love the bulge. Really need a pair of pants. What pants? A pants with a crotch. What crotch? Crotch with a cod piece. What piece? Cod piece. Say what? Showing off my. Something Lady Lacey likes to do every month is blindly hand them off to me to surprise me. Because that's part of the fun of this box is the surprise what games you get. So your business, or their business card rather, so you win three free games, take a picture, post it on their social media, and you might be a winner. Oh, I saw the, saw the keychain part. I was worried it was another whistle. I like whistles. No, I don't. Keychain, a blue keychain. And um, I don't know if this is for all the ladies out there, but it's got a rape whistle on it. Oh. So. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> don't break <rape> me. <laughs> but this is a nice metal bottle opener. I don't think we've gotten a curved one before. I don't think so. They've, they've sent us some bottle openers before, but it's always nice to have some. In fact, the bottle openers they have sent us before, we've cut them all over the house. Yeah. One's by the fridge, one's on the bar. So finally, we could probably uh, keep one in our pocket. Because we can't be bothered to go get one when we need to open no. a bottle. <laughs> when you want a bottle open, you can never find a bottle opener. You can never find a horn when you're mad. Hey, guess what? We didn't get Tony's box. Yeah. <laughs> Bing. Oh, poor back in the day gamer. He <laughs> never gets one ups. So this means an extra game in our box. I still maintain that Sorry, it's because Tony. he won't upgrade his list. <laughs> All right. Now it's time for the good stuff. Guess who's back? Dino's back. We're back. So we're back at Dinosaur's. <laughs> so we're back at Dinosaur's story on Super Nintendo. You I'm know, impressed. That was a terrible hint. <laughs> I thought it was a great hint. I've never heard of but that the game. The funny thing is, I have never even seen this movie. Did you ever watch this? That was a movie? Yeah. No. <laughs> what... No. It looks like we have a movie to watch. Before we play the game, otherwise we're not gonna know what's going on in this game. <laughs> My name is Rex. Perfect example of why it's fun to get the surprise because this is probably something I would not have picked up myself. I'd be like, I haven't seen that movie. Now it gives us reason to watch the movie. Plus, I love Super Nintendo stuff. Well, we got a Genesis game in a box. Okay. Ooh, the a box Genesis game. Nice. Like that. It's a little smooshed. Oh, is that one of the cardboard boxes? Yes. And you got to give me your sunglasses and your boots. Okay, so this is a Terminator <laughs> one. Ooh, but which one? Ooh. So T2, the arcade game. 
Nice. It says it's playable with the Sega Genesis Miniser, which is a shame because I actually don't have that, that oh. funky looking gun. But yeah, this is cool having it in the box. Yeah. So it's the neat. neat thing is they would open like this, kind of like uh, some of the old school boxes, like in television or the Odyssey 2, mm -hmm. you'd actually open it and you'd have a little tray in there for the cartridge, just like this, and then a place for the booklet. So how sweet is that? Complete inbox. I know. I mean, you know, I'm not worried about the smush part. No, we just kind of have to put it back together, basically. Well, once we get this in one of those nice protectors, yeah, it'll, it'll retain its shape. This is the one that was always so much fun to play in the arcades. I mean, obviously, obviously. the arcade game. <laughs> what do you want to do against a bunch of Terminators? You Shoot want to em. blow them away. Yeah. yeah. To... <laughs> <laughs> so this will be great, and it'll be fun to see how well it plays. Bobby, don't give your Aunt Bertha a big kiss. I wonder if you can only use the Minister or if you can use other guns like the, uh, the Lethal Enforcer like guns. I think it'll be fun. We'll find out. The human hideout. John Connor. All right. This is All a right. good start. This next game has your vagina in it. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Obviously, we have a Dragon Ball. <laughs> I'm guessing. Uh, I'm guessing it's a Dragon Ball Z game. Uh huh. Um, and more than likely, it's going to be on the Super Famicom. Because nope. Oh no. Nope. Famicom? Nope. It's American. What? Let me see this. Oh my gosh. I was way off. <laughs> so Dragon Ball Z Budokai. Nice. He laughs at me because I can never remember. Is it Fajita? <laughs> Vegeta? Fajita? <laughs> I'm just going to stop you right there. <laughs> <laughs> What's his name? Vegeta. The Saiyan Prince! Vegeta! Vegeta. That's why I always call it Vegeta. Because I can't remember. It's like Vegeta, Vegeta. <laughs> How dare you play me for a fool! <laughs> All right. So, no manual, but we do have the nice GameCube case. I always like these because they would have a spot for your memory card, which is great because if this is the game that you're playing at the time, you don't want to leave your memory card yep. in the system. You put it here, you know where to find it next. Especially time. for uh, little brothers who think it's funny to watch the games disappear. Oh. <laughs> Good buddy of mine. That's what his little brother did to all of his saves, including Breath of Fire 3. The only thing he had left to do was defeat the Archmage, and he was just doing that for fun. If anybody's familiar with Breath of Fire 3, you know how much that hurts. But his little brother thought it was just fun to watch the games disappear. Anyway, <laughs> so the Budokai games, I believe, uh, I know there was at least a sequel. I thought maybe there were three in the series, but these are great 3D fighters. The thing that I always loved about these is they really use that cell shaded animation style of the game to its full extent and it looks like you're playing the cartoon and let's face it if you would have taken this back and shown your younger self back when you were watching dragon ball or when you first started watching dragon ball z would have blown your mind you'd be like what i can control the cartoon like i'm i'm the cartoon guy i'm using him <laughs> so it is awesome and hey fighting games now it is only up to two players, so no Smash Brothers action, but you do have up to 23 Dragon Ball Z Warriors. Do you think they would ever put one of those characters in, drag er, in uh, Smash Brothers? People have been clamoring for Goku for years now. I think all the way back to the one on GameCube. They were but the problem is, would he be too much like Ken and Ryu and stuff that they've put in there? Nah, he'd mop no. the floor with those guys. <laughs> but I mean, like the same fighting style and stuff, like the same. Well, when you think of all the clone characters in the Smash Brothers series, I don't think Nintendo worries too much mm. about that at times. That's true. <laughs> All right, got one more game in here. So we got our three, now it's time uh -huh. for up. So we're gonna go undercover in the city and build things. 
So Lego City Undercover? Yeah. <laughs> I, didn't know, I didn't know a good hint for that one. <laughs> but you can call me the Riddler. We're gonna go undercover in the city, and also I'm gonna use the word Lego. Can you guess? I didn't it? say Lego, I said build things. You're the one who used Lego. <laughs> All right. No manual, but the question is, since this is a Wii U game, did it ever even yeah. have one? It's At most, it might have had one of those inserts in there that says, you know, ask your doctor before playing this game, and your doctor is <laughs> going to be like, get out of here. I know, it, it, you know, when it starts to get to the newer stuff, it's like you can't remember what had a manual and what didn't, because they kind of stopped doing that. So, the LEGO City Undercover game... This looked like Lego's answer to Grand Theft Auto. Mm -hmm. Probably less hookers. I don't know, though. I haven't played it. <laughs> Isn't this the, a one-player game? On the Wii U, it was. And that was the reason we that never we never it picked it up. Yeah. Because we like to play the Lego games together. Although, later on it came out, I believe for other systems, and you could play it too. Oh, player. that's good to know. And we'll have to double check and see if we picked it up on something else so that we finally could play it yeah. together. But this will still be a lot of fun. It looks, I love the Lego games. They are so much fun. Because, I mean, it's the Wii U. The Wii U has some really great games. If you don't believe it, just look at all the games that get ported over to the Switch because they were great games yeah. that didn't get a chance because the console failed. Personally, I'm glad to see them get ported and not be forgotten because it sucks whenever you have that one game that was super awesome but oh the system failed now nobody knows about it see i never looked Wario at Wario land on virtual boy <laughs> i never looked at the wii u as a failed system i looked at it as the beta version of the switch <laughs> <laughs> they were just testing it out <laughs> right well this is a really great lineup Holy it's a cow. quite diverse i uh geez are you sure there wasn't a card in there that said it was a partner's pack? Because these are great games. Plenty of Nintendo love here, but Sega was not left out, and I'm very glad about that. And everything looks to be in really great shape. Video Games Monthly is also super easy to deal with if you ever have any mm -hmm. issues. For any reason, if a game doesn't work, if you talk to them, they're always trying to work something out with you to make it right. Yep. So, guys, you got to check them out. They're not even paying us. We're, we're literally paying them to send us games, but... We're paying them to advertise for them. <laughs> <laughs> if you happen to sign up, let them know that Do You Nerd sent you, so uh, maybe they'll be like, oh, hey, those are those uh, nerds that do videos on us, you know. Let's put an extra game in this guy's box. Why not? Your box, not our box. We already get extra games. Sorry, Tony. <laughs> anyway. How's was my Tony laugh? <laughs> <laughs> Nerdlings, please give the video a like if you happen to like it, but especially drop some comments down below. How do you think Video Games Monthly did this month? What did you get in your Video Games Monthly box? Tell us in the comments below. Did you play some uh, Budokai? Did you play some Lego? Are you back? Because you're a dinosaur? We're are back. You a Terminator? Because if you are, watch out. We're getting a minister and we're coming after you. Or are you just thirsty? <laughs> we'll be back. That was a terrible Arnold. <laughs> Alrighty then. Well, leave those comments down below. Be sure to subscribe, hit the notification bell, because we will be back next month with another box. Cut and it oh, out. as always. <laughs> Don't forget to like us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Go over to T Public because we have merchandise over there. Hit us up on the retro refresh, and if we like it, we nerd it. For all things 80s. <laughs> Terrible. You've been terminated. Oh. I also played Mr. Freeze. 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 <laughs> freeze. Freeze. Well, that was that was. He's played he other things too, lot. you know. And chill. And other cold puns. <laughs> yeah. Get your ass to Mars. Get to the chopper. He wanted to get to things a lot. I love Arnold though. So it's okay. <laughs> My nerdlings. See you at the party, Richter. <laughs> Didn't he say chill in that one? Or no, it was let off some steam.
shut up and plastic doesn't throw very well.